What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off where we got left off from the last episode, uh, we ended up pretty much in the same position. The Russians are attacking again at St. Petersburg. This time with a few more stacks, but ultimately I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal. We've got some more infantry coming in, a bit more artillery. This time there's a bit more infantry involved. Oh, hand mortars, they're dangerous, they're very, very dangerous. Um, got lots of cavalry. I think it should be fine. I'm probably going to do a similar sort of battle again. More troops up to the walls this time than they did simply due to the fact they have more of them. They have more infantry units. They will be attacking from the, the east almost exclusively. So I think I'm going to sit my cavalry in a similar sort of position. Maybe not throw them forward as soon as I did in the last part. But can Empire in St. Petersburg fighting the Russians? Mexico. Keep these guys on round shot again, just to try and get some... Well, to be honest, we're quite towards the end of the campaign, actually, so may as well. No, do round shot, target there. Target there, their own. We'll keep wandering round shot, wandering quick claim. How about that? So let's do something a bit similar to what I did. I might have, to might have to prepare to abandon these flank positions. Yeah, got lots of stuff left, so let's just secure my artillery inside before I forget. Let's drop my cavalry in the forest again. That leaves me still with a boatload of infantry. So let's put a unit of marines down here. Well, no, let's put a unit of Do I think they'll be needed? I need to, well, I definitely need to fill that gap I've just seen on the wall. Because I've been silly. My general's going to be inside, and the role of these guys and this unit of marines is going to be to fill any gaps. Or we'll get ready to plug any breaches. Yeah, my round shot batteries in range. Let's get them to target. Six pounder rocket troop. The magical rocket troop. Hit that unit. 24 pounder howitzer unit. Oh, here come the rockets. So they don't really use rockets. They never seem to be... Yeah, like, I couldn't tell you what damage that did. Well, the wall's pretty damaged. Eh, it's not so bad. It's cool, I suppose. Let's just preemptively put a, put a foot artillery position here fire into this breach. Oh, Quicklime batteries and the Quicklime attacks are start coming in now. So they're attacked. They are starting to reach the walls. Ah, I'm not targeting my quick line units very efficiently. But to be honest, I may as well let them carry on. The Union Grenadiers. You guys should be tearing them to shreds.
So, so you know the last part how I talked about how they don't really fight for the for the for the the, uh, the gates. They do now, although the rockets just knocked a guy to the ground. Don't fight well off to bring the like, cavalry in to engage. So fight this unit, although there's a real risk of this. Same with this line infantry unit. Engage the hand mortar company. Then let's. Position my infantry ready to receive fire or receive an attack from the breach. So their cavalry is responding to my cavalry, so I will send them in. Fuse laser are doing passable, but because they're against any guerrilla mercenaries. Good, the mercenaries are falling back, but the foot infantry is still still providing a fighting effort. Should defeat their cavalry. Once we break their cavalry, then I'll probably move in. Is that their reinforcements? No, they're routing, sorry. Um, Vibonia Stradsky. Well, looks like they are... They are, the ne they are there, but I'm going to chase down this Lancer Guard unit if we can. No, I'm going to leave that one. Switch to Diamond Formation. abandon that section of the wall. Although ultimately I'm going to go for him with my cavalry. I can fight my rock aging their rockets at point blank range. Didn't witness any friendly fire. Yeah, this light cavalry should get chopped up. Committing more cavalry. So how many are you? 36. Engage. Let's keep fighting them because we can kill a lot of them as they try to retreat through our unit. I'll get out there to go support. Wow, this section of the wall's also been damaged. So let's get you inside there, even though that is also damaged. Am I winning this fight? 27 to 44. Seemingly not. These guys are going to get outnumbered. Fifty-six, they five. Yeah, I think I'm going to get outnumbered. So if I try pull these guys out. I will lose some, but if I can at least try to get my cavalry into one big combat, maybe I might have a chance. They've made their breach.
engage the Hussars as they very, very kindly ab abandon my... Let's get them in there. I'm trying to get these men into the into the building. Oh, so we are actually doing okay in this fight. We are committing more forces to the fight now. Yeah, even more Lancer Guards are moving in. Yep, yeah, there goes my Household Cavalry. But will they make it through? See, if I could run them this way, run them past the gauntlet of my muskets. Can't completely garrison the building. Oh well. Present and fire. We're all coming in now. Too close range to impact them, but everyone's getting involved. Here come their reinforcements. Guard engineer, battalions. Still, let's focus on. I used to watch my infantry fight against the militia. There you go, these guys are firing down into the breach. These guys aren't, they haven't got the memo. The Fusiliers have, however. Dragoons are climbing the walls. Get back in formation, you. Yeah, they're definitely going to lose that fort. <laughs> Let's keep the general trotting along. God, I hate it when the AI does that. It's running your men down the walls. Good Marines. Open fire. Not like these guys who want to eagerly advance with every opportunity. Get my quick climb unit to hit them. Let's get the quick climb unit to start hitting these this infantry that's coming in. Yeah, they are gonna clear out that building. Format Marines. That's a very ragged formation. There we go. Make ready. You are the elite. Not even bothered about letting the cavalry charge into me. <laughs> yeah, just getting picked to pieces. See, my drummer wants to have a go. <laughs> that's, 
the mighty Mexican drummer. Ah, uh, have at you! Oh, my handful of infantry might be able to hold off the the uh, to hold off the militia. They've brought Cossack infantry around. Can't do a little sneaky flanking maneuver. Make ready. Your enemy returns. Quite so good. So let's move these guys up to take this position. Let's move these guys up to take this position. This line infantry guards are a bit wasted. So you have killed the guys of the rocket troop before their rockets go. Start hitting their reinforcements as they enter the field. Just a six pounder, so don't have to worry about the artillery. Whoa! Hold your damn fire! You, what are you doing? There we go, take up your positions and pour on fire. Hmm, foot guards unit, let them walk. So the Russians have gained a foothold onto the wall. Take up, um, take up position on this ruined section of the wall. Let's get my fuselage to also take up positions as the quick line comes pouring in. <laughs> Raining it down onto that artillery team. Gonna let you have that chance. Come on, take a position and fire one volley at least. Nothing. run my guards out to protect my general. Should be fairly simple though to knock out these two lines of infantry. They're going to have some solid support from the walls. And if they try to scale the walls then they'll definitely have had it. because they're now in range. Your enemy is through the trees. Come 
Come on, my general. Let's run him out of the flank a bit. Is there any loose cavalry? There's their general, but that's it. Let's just run this infantry guard unit. We'll walk it up, to be honest. Sprint them up. See, they've got a good foothold. Chase down their infantry. As you are a fresh general who is currently unbloodied. Let's retarget my artillery to be their general. Cool. I think I'm going to speed this up now because nothing's really happening. we got to remember that there's a target over here. Or back here, sorry. So I might just trot my general over to go say hello. He's on a chevron. Let's just run him. It's going to take too long. Run my infantry as well, because that's taking too long. Yeah, they're almost there already. We're being engaged. But not fast enough. And you've already shot a bunch of your own guys. Yeah, you destroyed your heavy horse guard artillery. Excellent victory, sir. A good diff But nevertheless, this is what... Greatness demands of us to hold our gains. Good, we've knocked them back, although they will only reform and return in greater numbers. But hopefully we can recruit a good garrison army. Then that army will be free. Oh, the Swedes are sallying out as well. We'll deploy backwards to stay away from their mortars. That's definitely what's going to happen. But yes, I want to... Effectively, I'll take that army that's in St. Petersburg and then just drive it straight down to Moscow because we're talking the campaign. So I think it would be fun to have the Mexicans in Moscow. <laughs> I don't know. I find it funny. Anyway, let's see how uh, possible it is. That's the question. Guarantee success in war, but only deserve it. Okay. Anchor set of guns here. Send some. Break up some of my infantry. Let's deploy some more guns. Deploy, deploy. Deploy some grenadiers and some frontiers on the left. And then deploy these guys to secure this flank just in case. Cavalry. Cavalry. Two sets of howitzers firing quick line. Uh, fire general. Very experienced general. A shrapnel misses. The mortars are idle, which is perfect. The Poseca Regimente. Line infantry guards, grenadiers, something like the grenadiers. Yeah, not, not as good as not as good as some others. Bring my cover. Well, no, I'm gonna hold. Keep my cover on both flanks. Hit the grenadiers with. Good. They've all been misses so far.
Oh, they, they ran forward to dismount. I see. Let's switch over to canister shot. Let's engage. Keep running straight on. These ca these horses are providing. Oh, they are going to get my cavalry. They're going to get my artillery. Sorry. No, they're not. To be honest, let's limber you up and let's do a bit of this. Square. Not in time, but enough. Ah, oh, good, the mortars have left. So I am safe to move up my. to move up my infantry. I haven't unlimbered my thingies. No wonder they're not doing so good. Ooh, and here comes some of their horse artillery. Come on. Oh, yes. Please stop and unlimber your guns there. Let's get ready to hit the line guards. And let's get you to artillery. Focus my artillery in the centre because that's what we need the most. You hit that garrison mortar. So shrapnel, hit that square formation. Shrapnel, hit that infantry formation. Get my general involved. Let's get all. Let's get all this I'll to do to hit that unit on the flank. Unit in the woods. Ooh, that's a that's a, that's an alarming amount of cavalry to see at short notice. Killing my own dudes. No, get all my artillery to hit. Yeah, I was just effectively. I was effectively quick claiming my own dudes. So you form square because you're on the flank right in the backside. No, you now look. Now you suddenly look weak and vulnerable. So let's bring you back. You're not really doing. So you're not doing anything, you are doing something. But it's what you want you to do or not is another question. So let's get you back into line formation and then let's make you fall back. You need to do work against these line infantry guards. Skirmish order means you should be engaging them now. Seemingly not, so let's just do this.
There we go. Sort your formation out, bro. You are annihilating the Swedes. Provincial militia, run away. Run straight into an easier target. Still at garrison lines hiding out in the trees. Retarget one of my howitzers. So who are you shooting at? My guys are out one out of range. Well, they should be anyway. Firing anything? You're missing. where it's actually needed. Good. Blowing a massive hole in their line. So let's move them up. It's getting firing canister shot. I'm not sure if there's a real difference, but it just feels thematic. Advance your firing position against the Grenadiers. This thing is going to clear out the woods. Flanking units. Fallen back. Well, you're wavering, so let's still just do this and pull you back. Who's that? Is that? It's not the general. There oh, is the general, isn't it? Yes. I'm trying. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, it is. I'm looking at the map. Back on firing shrapnel. Advance you up a fraction. Good. You did not expect to my response. Machines. Clone your light cavalry into the mix as well as just charge them down. Let's halt the artillery fire. So who are you? Okay, let's get my howitzers to fire on the general. Oh, the garrison line is still. Well, I think they've provoked them into shooting, into into moving now. Quick climb's coming in. Well, that's 20 horses gone. Are you going to break before you get to my lines? You are. Such brave cavalry. So I don't quite get how this is happening. 
All my artillery hit the Union garrison line. So why aren't these guys engaging this square formation? Like, at all. Get him! I suppose. Because, I mean, I target you, I mean, I pointed you in their direction to shoot at him. Trouble is with the Swedes, they are good in melee, but I don't know. If you can't shoot at them. To be honest, let's triple it up and let's get uh, keep my cavalry running around. Let's end it, actually. It was only a sally, so we'd be handy to annihilate some more troops, but to be honest, it depends if their mortars are still around. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, that was my transport fleet. La flota está perdida. Sorry, Ernesto. It's to the bottom of the locker for ye. Oh, let's all say that. Captured your third rate. They're going to raid, raid away. Ooh, and they have attacked me, but looking at the timer, or what I guess is the timer, to be honest, it's dropped out twice. I'm kind of guessing. Um, but I'm going to cut the part there. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm sorry about this, these these issues. I really thought I, thought I managed to fix them. I disabled everything on Startup, but I don't know what it is that's, that's kicking in, but I'll endeavour to find out. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.